Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Lydia's Plate. I'm Lydia and we are so excited. We got a phone call that our chicks are in, our little day old baby chicks. So we're gonna go pick them up and we'll turn the camera back on once we get back home with them. See you soon. Hey guys, so our chicks have arrived. It's a very exciting time on the farm. And so first we have to make sure that we've got these shavings, wood shavings in here to make a nice bedding area for them. Oh yeah, you can hear how noisy they are. All right, so we'll get them in here so you can see them. Before we can put them in there though, we want to make sure that we have the water ready. The water needs a little bit of powdered medicine added to it because commercially hatched chicks are far more susceptible to sicknesses. We had a hen who hatched and raised her own chicks last year and we learned so much about chicks and the intricacies of how God created them. Those chicks were so tough and hardy yet delicate in other ways, just like people. It's so incredible to watch. Both of my three gallon pails got wrecked this winter and I haven't bought new ones yet, so I'm forced to use an ice cream pail for today. Hey guys, all right, so we've got chicks on the farm again, and they're so cute! I'm noisy. Oh, look at these little guys. They're so cute. These are going to end up being brown chickens. The other ones are meat birds. They're Cornish cross giants. And these are brown laying hens. Her color is a little different and she's going to darken and get nice brown feathers. So now we have to get them all in here, count and make sure that the place that we got them from counted correctly and make sure that they're adapting to their new home and all is well. The place we order from has always been very good with sending us the right amount and especially because we've ordered so many. We ordered 75 chicks this year and have 76 plus the 15 brown laying hens which is the amount we ordered. Now I need to get the feeder ready and put it in their box. Chicks change so much in their first few weeks and I will do my best to document that for you. Mm -hmm. 
Baby chicks are also very susceptible to heat and cold. Right now, you can see that the majority are huddled under the heat lamp, so we will be monitoring them closely. We might have to hang up another heat lamp. This one is already as low as what we think is safe. But the first day or two of bringing them home is so tricky to make sure they're warm enough, but not too warm. Before they get their feathers, they can't regulate their own heat yet, and they need to slowly be toughened up to where they won't need the lamp at all anymore. Hey guys, so these little chicks, um, when they first start getting their feathers in, they're not going to stay like this for very long. So they're right at the tips of their wings here. Oh, this little guy doesn't want to show off his wing. So he's going to start getting feathers right in here first and they'll be white feathers. It's not going to take long and he'll lose all his little chick down. And then we'll get feathers. So I'll keep you updated. I think weekly posts and we're excited. This is always an exciting time on the homestead. It's so much fun watching these guys. It's like having, oh man, it's like having, it's not quite babies, but kind of like having little babies again, not like human babies. I don't know. It's just fun. So much fun. We love just coming out here and watching them. So yeah, hope you enjoy it as well. Hey guys, so we're back. You saw those chicks already and we are just so pumped and excited. It's always such an exciting time on the homestead when we get new little baby animals again. So I know for the next while where our kids are going to be, they're actually all still out there with the chicks right now. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Press the bell for notifications if you don't want to miss anything, especially the next update on the chicks. And we'll see you again next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.